All right, so this question is has a motion of seven particles, like we've seen before, and it, autom automobiles A and B are traveling in adjacent highways. So automobile A is moving to the right, automobile B is moving to the left, and they have the positions and speed shown. So they're separated by 3,200 feet. Uh, a starts at position P right here, and we're gonna call everything going to the right our positive direction. So everything with A is gonna be positive, most of the stuff with B is going to be negative. So P starts at, at zero, and Q starts at 3200. So this is our origin, so it's zero feet, and this is uh, just a point on the line, and it's 3200 feet away from our origin. And we know that A is moving this way, and in 40 seconds it will get to point Q, and B is moving this way, and in 42 seconds it will get to point P. Now from this, uh, from this piece of information that we get here, we can determine the acceleration of both of these cars. So if we look at our kinematic equations, we have a velocity equals an initial velocity plus acceleration times time, a distance equals an initial distance plus an initial velocity times time plus one half times the acceleration times time squared and a final velocity squared is equal to an initial velocity squared plus two times the acceleration times a final position <laughs> times an initial position and just to keep our syntax the same I'm going to erase the F that I wrote on the subscript. So, so for part A, determining the accelerations of both vehicles, we can we can look at so for part A, when we determine the accelerations of both vehicles, we can look at the pieces of information that we have. We have a initial velocity. We have a distance that's traveled and we have a time that's traveled in. So for car A, if we, we use this equation because it's, it's a distance traveled, an initial velocity, and a time, and we're just solving for the acceleration, we get the, the final distance is 3200 is equal to an initial distance of zero plus the initial velocity, which is 95.3 uh, it moves this entire distance in 40 seconds so this is times 40 and plus one half the acceleration of A is what we're solving for times 40 squared and if we, if we solve this out we get the acceleration of A is equal to negative 0.765 feet per second squared. So this is the acceleration of A, and we can do the same exact uh, the same exact procedure for car B, except we have to account for now everything is moving against our positive direction. So for car B, our initial position is 3,200. And this is equal to a final position of zero plus our initial velocity, which is negative 58.6 times a time and this time it's 42 seconds plus one half times the acceleration of B times 42 squared and if we solve for the acceleration of B we get 0 point we get a negative negative 0 
0.37 feet per second squared. Sorry about that, my dog needed something. So if, if we think about this for part B, this, this is our answer to part A. The acceleration of A is negative uh, 0.765 feet per second squared, and the acceleration of B is negative 0.837 feet per second squared. So what is this saying? This is saying that A, since A is moving this way and it has a negative acceleration, the acceleration is pointing in this direction, A is slowing down. And uh, if we look at B, B also has a negative acceleration, but its velocity is in this direction. So its acceleration and velo is in the same direction of its velocity. So A, uh, car B is actually speeding up. It's just which way we decided to call our positive convention. So now to determine when the other when the vehicles pass each other, how do we do this? We know that we know that A is going to move some distance over here, B from this point, B is going to move some distance from this point over here, and when they, when they pass each other, the location that X is, X of A, is going to be the exact same location of X of B. So we can just, we can come up with an equation for X of A, come up for an equation of x of b instead of them equal to each other. So let's do that. An equation for x of a, again, from these kinematic equations, we know that the final position of a is going to be equal to the initial position, which is zero, plus the velocity, which is 95, Point three, and this is a positive velocity, times some time minus the acceleration, which is uh, minus one half the acceleration which is point seven six five times a time squared. And this, this negative sign right here, it's really because of the negative acceleration. And I just moved it outside. So if we come up for an equation for B, the location of B is equal to an initial position. And the initial position starts at 3200 plus its initial velocity. And its initial velocity is a negative 58.6. times t, um, and plus the acceleration, and the acceleration is also negative. The acceleration is 0.837 t squared. So now we can set these two equations equal to each other. So we get xa is equal to xb and 95.3t minus 0.5 times 0.765t squared is equal to 3200 minus 58.6t minus 1 half times 0.8 three seven t squared and if we solve for t we're going to get two roots of t but the positive root is what we're looking for and we get t is equal to 20.7 seconds so it takes 20.7 seconds for a to travel to a certain distance and b to travel to a certain distance and meet and this will, this will help for part C, which is the speed of B when they pass, and the final speed, we, 
take from this equation right here, so uh, final speed equals the initial speed time plus the acceleration times time. It's a little late right now. And we have uh, initial speed is minus 58.6 plus the acceleration which is minus 0.837 times the time which is what we just found it's 20.7 running out of room and this is going to be equal to minus 75.84 minus 75.84 feet per second. And so what is this telling us? The, the negative sign means it's, it's moving against our positive convention and we knew it was accelerating and minus 75 is greater than a minus 58. So this answer makes sense.